Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. No camera this time. Although I do like to know what you what y'all think of that. Uh, Leopold Strauss and Sean wants to go do a robbery. Well, you know what? I'm not a good man, so let's ignore Strauss for now. And go line my pockets. Oh my dear mother of God. Yes, that's fine. Oh, hey, Arthur. Here. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? <laughs> because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? All right, let's do this. Where did the controller go? Sorry for that audio cut. This early in the fucking video. Studio one is stupid sometimes. Anyway, as I was gonna say, Irish were brought in as indentured servants, quote unquote. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far. State line. All right. I got my hat back. He's a fancy new pump action shotgun. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box to buy his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. 
The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me anyway, <laughs> don't you, Woody? Smoke. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. Smoke. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Smoke. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. You never really know what you're walking into. Yep, good point. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Smoke. That's good. That's very true. How far is it now? Not too much for them. All right, that left away. We're nearly there. Are you smoking yet? Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Sounds like a plan. Stay oh, there, Morgan. <laughs> I like this guy, all right. Oh. <laughs> Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, what you deal with them? Just make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. One on the outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. And you hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. I just thought you might like to know past the big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right wow. here. It's up after. The rest of them. Come out with your hands up! 
Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, okay I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here. And don't look back. See what else you can find, Sean. In the bedroom behind the gap in the wall. I told you we'd take no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Yeah, but I'm stealing his liquor. Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. I'm fully aware. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting rid of my volcanic pistol. I like that pistol, thank you. I've already bought myself a new revolver. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, I've my car. I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need to lecture again. See you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this. Okay, that was fun. Keep hitting the damn touchpad to bring up the map. Ooh, bounty hunters, not good. Take my way to a saloon and hopefully yeah. just bypass those guys. Easy, easy. 
Can I do cow tipping? Can I go cow tipping? I want to know. No. Use a bow or an improved with an improved arrow for a plain kill. See me. Doesn't look like it. Let's hop out and go grab my bow. You kill me. A cow. This was a mistake. Okay, fuck it, I'm running. This was a mistake! He's killed his cattle, he has every right to be pissed. We just instantly frickin' knew. Luckily, I was wearing a mask. Nope, nope, nope. Damn it, that's not what I did! Me out here. Come on. Please. Oh. I'm here. 
If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gone. Gotcha. What the hell? You <laughs> I'm gonna get out of these ropes and I'm gonna strangle you with them. Ah, good lord! Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. Come on, man. Come on, man, don't do this to me. Look at the floor for a bit. Keep doing that. I'm almost certain that there's going to be about that there's going to be a sheriff's office willing to sell them, willing to pay for your head considering you're an escaped convict. Big bounty here. Probably ought to pay that. Come get your beat. Look out. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Where, oh, where is the sheriff's office? Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. I agree. I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for Need honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. 
Yes. You have family <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you oh, ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. I lost my prisoner. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now right. they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite... It has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. They certainly pay higher taxes. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes, I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Can't pull my pistols out, or my rifle. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. <laughs> Let's take that point off. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. I found something. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. I can't loot the bodies. Hey, it's not a very good a deputy thing to do. Look. Suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Yeah. 
Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets sure trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. Go right at the crossroads. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. They're right again here. slavers in these hills, they're illegal slavers. Slavery was deemed illegal in the United States in the 1800s. Honestly, before the Civil War, it was already thinning itself out because it's expen it was expensive and impractical. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Now I can pull my guns. That word makes me sick. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive. I'm Trying to catch up with these people. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the way I said Actually, from my friend who decided, he doesn't have your fine way of words, but he is definitely the man. For the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Let's go right. Take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Yep. Get it with gotcha. It. Use the. Hold on. Wait for them to move. We won't catch the ride. Grab the other fella.
was fun. Right. Let's gather them up. That's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So, tell me about the. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, um. And one or two sticks should do. I'll deal with the other stills. As you were. Shut up. That settles that. Oh, nope, not yet. I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. But the Raiders, I can loot them all I like. Let's go before any more show up. Go ahead, I'm looting.
Wait, cocaine, gum, what? I'm sorry, what? Okay. Sure, why not? Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? <laughs> we are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill! Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp? That was fun. Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think oh. they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That wasn't worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're off. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Oh, friendly competition. Stick to the roads. Come on, Bucro, you have this. Come on, my friend. Oh, he got around me, damn. I, I lost sight of the road is my problem.
He got me. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, son. Yeah, I'll spare the gloating this. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned, after all these years, to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I have fun with you today. Be well. Here? Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. That was fun. Okay, what next? Besides Strauss. Molly wants to speak with me, but so does Strauss. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I talk with Leopold Strauss and probably go collect more money from deadbeats. But until then, I am the Dark Sarah, signing off.